landmark agreement on North Korea's denuclearization seems to fit right into the Trump doctrine and what the president sees as his strong suit, negotiating, which includes knowing how much pressure should be applied to get a deal done. What Trump figured out was that the North Koreans have been pretty good at lying for a long time, and they never suffered any consequences. Uh, and so he wanted, I think he felt he was in a position where he had to apply so much pressure, both verbal pressure and practical pressure, that Kim Jong-un would reach a conclusion that for his regime to survive, something had to change. Mm, joining us now, Congressman Mac Thornberry of Texas, who chairs the House Armed Services Committee. Mr. Chairman, good morning to you, and I'd love to get your reaction to the former speaker there. Um, I think he's largely right. Uh, part of what I believe brought Kim Jong-un to this point were the economic sanctions, the diplomatic isolation, the president's unconventional rhetoric, and probably most importantly, uh, the clear movement of the United States to strengthen our military, including missile defense, to show that uh, we could shoot down any missile that uh, North Korea chose to launch against us. So I think it was a combination of those things that at least convinced Kim Jong-un he had to change his image. He had to look like he was trying to negotiate. What were your thoughts, uh, Mr. Chairman, as you looked on at the president, as we continue to see these pictures this morning, many people waking up and seeing these across the country for the first time, this historic moment where the president does seem to have laid the groundwork for a deal for peace. Yeah, I think it is perfectly reasonable for us all to hope that we have witnessed the beginning of a process that will lead to the permanent, verifiable elimination of a nuclear, capabil nuclear weapons capability in North Korea. And at the same time, I think it's perfectly reasonable for us to all be skeptical because, as Newt just said in that clip, they have a history of lying and deceit. So the key is, what do they really do in the next steps? And so Secretary Pompeo will be setting down and, and fleshing out this agreement in terms of next concrete steps on a timeline. And I think really that's going to be the, the key thing that tells us if this is real or if this is atmospherics. Obviously, there is that skepticism. I hear it from you and you hear it from many this morning. How can we trust this guy? And the president responded to that, uh, addressing whether or not this is, this is all talk and, and perhaps no action on the part of North Korea. Listen. You can't ensure anything. All I can say is they want to make a deal. That's what I do. My whole life has been deals. I've done great at it. And that's what I do. And I know when somebody wants to deal, and I know when somebody doesn't. A lot of politicians don't. That's not their thing. But it is my thing. I mean, again, uh, this really could have been done, I think, easier a long time ago. I mean, that's really, that's really it, right? He saw uh, what the president saw was that North Korea wanted to make a deal. And he says, I'm the guy to make that deal. And that's what brings us to today, Mr. Chairman. Are you hopeful for what is next with the president's plan here? Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I say I think it's perfectly reasonable to have these hopes that the next steps will be significant, they'll be transparent, and they will be on this road towards eliminating a nuclear weapons capability. And, and, but doing it with our eyes wide open. I mean, the President, Secretary Pompeo have both said, we understand the track record here. And uh, something is going to have to be drastically different this time than it's been before. And so, for me, I think the most important things are keep the sanctions on, uh, stay tight with our allies in South Korea and Japan. Don't let China, North Korea, or anybody else drive a wedge between us. And probably most importantly, we need to continue to strengthen our military so that it's, there's no question that militarily we are determined to defend ourselves whatever, however, whatever course these negotiations may take. There really was something as we're talking here, Mr. Chairman, those images of them all gathering around the table, the president's team beside him, obviously Mike Pompeo, who has orchestrated a lot of this. And he was sitting there right beside the president facing Kim Jong-un. Final word. 
Yeah, and Pompeo goes into this with his eyes wide open. Having served with him on the Intelligence Committee, he knows the facts. He knows how hard this will be to translate these goals into reality. Uh, but he is capable of holding their feet to the fire and saying, OK, if you really want to do this, here's what it takes. We will see where this all goes next. Uh, Chairman Mac Thornberry, great to have you on the program this morning. Please come back. Thank you, ma'am.